There were a couple of questions that some different people had sent up about how to help a child, um, how to keep a teenager from falling in love. And <laughs> Hearts are hearts. I don't know if we can control who, who a person likes and doesn't like and how strongly they, they feel um, for, for somebody of the opposite gender. I think, again, going back to making sure that we try and create a safe environment where our kids, we can talk to our kids about, about their feelings. What, what I, I've seen um, some parents do that I think is, um, is a good way to get your kids to think more future facing is to talk about what kinds of qualities they'd like to see in a future spouse so that they're not actually talking about the person they may have a crush on right now or that they may be in love with right now talk about like what, what are you looking for like when you get married one day inshallah what are the qualities that you'd like to see in a future in a future spouse and then hopefully through that lens they'll share you know what what qualities they like don't like and helping, teaching them how to do dua for what they want and doing dua for them in their presence. Like may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give you a spouse who's going to take you to Jannah one day and who you're going to take to Jannah one day, inshallah. You guys are going to be positive influences on each other and who's going to bring our families together and letting them see that what's important to you as well. And, um, but as far as like protecting your kids from falling in love, I don't think anyone's ever been able to do that the heart is the heart so but we can create halal environments definitely you know like teaching our kids about how they should be interacting with the opposite gender and um whatnot okay